explain uh, this concept of irreducible complexity. Right. The, the, the case for intelligent design is, is not so much made in the negative as, well, it's so complex it couldn't have arisen by an undirected process. It's really made in the affirmative by noting features in living organisms, organisms that we know from experience are produced by one and only one type of cause. One of those features is digital information. Okay. Okay, and that's the argument that I've developed. Mike Behe has developed a separate argument from the presence of a, a feature that engineers recognize. They, engineers sometimes talk about integrated complexity, right. Behe calls it irreducible complexity. Okay. And that is a, a, a feature of systems where, wherein you have a, a great deal, a great number of parts, right. and if you remove any one of those parts, the whole system ceases to function. Right. So it could not have evolved, it's not a gradual process, it, it had to be put together or it wouldn't work. The intermediate stages on the way, he, he makes famous this little, and it, I kid you not, it's a rotary engine that's inside the cell wall of bacteria. It's called a bacterial flagellar motor. It's high tech and low 